Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 and today I'm here with a pick a pile reading and this reading is how deep is their love and I got inspiration because when I was shuffling the cards I heard the Bee Gees song how deep is your love and it's playing in the background here okay so we're going to look at how deep are their feelings for you okay so pick your pile so pile one is the angel Pile two, the Buddha. You see that? And pile three is the pyramid. Okay, so pick your pile and we're getting messages. Hello, pile one, you chose the angel. So we're going to look at how your divine masculine feels about you. These are things that you don't know. These are feelings they've not expressed to you, possibly. These are for regions of people in separation, no contact as well. So how do they see you? They see you as somebody mature, but you, you may not be older than them, but you could be. You're very experienced in life. I'm just going to put the light on. It's very dingy in here. You could be very experienced in life and you have that very mature, grounded energy that they like. You are a very supportive person. You're very loving and kind. You like to help others. You could be a bit of a recluse at the moment, or you could be, that could be your nature, like in the hermit mode. You spend quite a lot of time alone, you're quite happy in your own company. You're dependable, you're good in a crisis, you're someone that can be relied on in a crisis. So we're going to look at my Soul Magic Love Lenormand deck, the overall energy. So we've got books, study, learning, secret knowledge. So I think they've been looking into this twin flame connections right now and we've got the world here new beginnings so they're wanting a new beginning here with the feminine and they may want to travel with you in the future and they want to have an opportunity to start again here but in the past there could have been some deceit some lies some betrayal maybe in the past um this could be merely to do with the fact that they had feelings and denied it or that they were seeing other people at the time, okay, and they didn't tell you about that. Tell you what resonates. We've got our wisdom, truth, clarity. So they are gaining in wisdom here. They're getting the truth of this to the truth of the situation. They're getting clarity and they're understanding more what this connection is all about. <clears throat> to me, it looks like they want to retreat with you, they want to go somewhere. Just the two of you, maybe a little cabin in the woods somewhere and spend some intimate time with you, really reconnecting with you, having that alone time without outside interference. And so I've cutting, clearing, harvesting. I feel there could have been some harsh words spoken and exchanged between you here. We've got Bride, a message, new surprise. So there could be a message coming in unexpectedly. This could be an email or text or even somebody turning up on your doorstep. Who knows? And we've got stars, luck direction. So there's a change of luck here in this connection. And they see you as soulmates. I mean, you could be twin flames, but they may not know what twin flames is. But they definitely feel this soul connection. They feel this compatibility with you. And they can see this as a long-term love, a long-term relationship here. So beautiful energies. <clears throat> so this is my other new deck. Well, it's two decks combined. Star Cross Lovers, Agony and Ecstasy, Parts 1 and 2. So yeah, they've got secret longings for you here. They're really missing you. And they want you to know that they want to support you. They want to be there for you. So maybe they weren't like that there for you before. And they wonder if you've, you're seeing someone else. Is there somewhere else in your life? And I feel maybe you're thinking that about them as well. Have they met somebody else? Okay. But they're trusting in divine timing right now. They're really trusting in that and, and trusting that things sounds vague, but if things are meant to be, they will be. Because maybe you walked away from this connection or they're they're letting you know they're walking away from their past. This could be connections with people in their past. Okay, so take what resonates for you. They see you as a yin-yang to each other, the balance, the masculine, the feminine. They feel you make a really good pair, really balanced couple here. They want you to know that you're on their mind constantly here, okay? 
So what feelings are they in at the moment? So there's confusion here because they don't know if you're feeling the same as them. But they want to get playful. They want to be in that <clears throat> playful energy of you again, that light-hearted energy. But they are starting to feel optimistic about this connection, okay? So what other things do they think about? So they see you as someone who's quite a seductress. Maybe you are somebody that's, you know, very confident in the bedroom. You like to tease and arouse them and they find you very arousing. And they want to make love to you. They want you to know that it's making love. It's not just sex. They want to be intimate with you, kiss you, touch you, feel you, give you orgasms. Yeah, they want to be intimate. They want to be close. It's not just sexual. It's mental, emotional, physical, everything. They want to be intimate and, and share their life with you. Because they, when they've been with you, you know, you bring out that side to them. They can't get enough of you in and out of the bedroom. They really enjoy being with you. So this is my other new deck, Sensual Desires Oracle. So they want to take you away. As I said, there's a retreat and we've got weekend away. They want to take you away for a sweet escape, just you and them. And they find you irresistible. You know, they would really want to have sex with you, you know, any time they get a chance to, really. <laughs> And they want you to be theirs. They want to love you forever. Oh, so romantic. They want to take you dancing. And they want to kiss your face off. They want to snog you. And they see you as someone very independent. They don't. They see you as someone who's not a needy person. And they like the fact that you're independent, okay? And they think that you are the one. They're questioning that, but they think that you are the one for them. And they want to court you, you know, they'll take you out on dates and really romance you in the way that maybe that hasn't happened with them before. And they still remember that first meeting that you had because, you know, from that moment on they were smitten with you, I feel. And they want to make some sort of romantic gesture here, okay? They see you as a divine feminine, as I say, they do see you as the one for them. They're feeling that soul connection. So what do they want to say? They remember the feel of your body next to mine, the way you pleased them, it was so divine, and they enjoy pleasing you. Forgive me, please, I want us to be able to talk, clear the air. So they want to clear the air with you. When I look at pictures of you on my phone, I catch the scent of you and hear you moan. So they're remembering those intimate times you may have shared. And when I think of you, my heart, it glows from within as, I, as your love has got under my skin. So they're feeling the love here for you. So there are your messages, Pile 1. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, Pile 2. You chose the Buddha. Now let's get your messages. So how does your masculine see you? So they find you very sexy. You exude self-confidence. They like the way you dress as well. They love the way that you dress to accentuate your figure. You could be very ambitious as well, driven, very motivated person. You could be a self-employed person, have your own business. Um, teacher, they see that you are very knowledgeable and you like to pass on knowledge to others. You could actually be a teacher. You could teach young children maybe. And they find that really um, amazing about you. And they find that you are very adventurous in life and in the bedroom. And they like that about you. So this is my Soul Magic Love Lenormand. So what have we got here? Artwork. Expression of love and joy. The fox. The moon. The cross. The tree. Bouquet. Date. Prayer. Champagne. Passion. So artwork here, I feel maybe they, you know, if they're an artist, they may have drawn you or painted you in some way. Um, you know, they want to really remember the times that they've spent with you. We've got Fox here, manipulator, cunning, devious. So maybe in the past they were a bit manipulative in this connection, okay, and were trying to control the situation. And we've got moon energy, fame, recognition, dream. I do feel as well this is really your person that's getting in touch with their feeling. They may dream about you a lot and they may realise what this connection is and they're becoming more aware <coughs> of their feelings for you. 
we've crossed, we've got burdens, suffering problems. I feel they've had a lot to deal with in their life. They could have had a lot of work on their plate. There could have been family issues, you know, other relationship issues. They've had a lot to deal with at the moment, a lot of problems to overcome here. We've got the tree, health, long life, strong roots. I feel that they, they want to really put down roots with you. They want to build that stable foundation with you moving forward. And we've got bouquet, gift, bonus, appreciation. I feel they want to send you some flowers here. Or you you could find you're getting some flowers as maybe an apology or a gift to let you know that they're thinking of you. And then we've got date, getting to know each other. So I feel they do want to take you out on a date here. They want to really connect with you again. Okay. We've got prayer, faith, hope, belief. I do believe they're praying. I do believe they're praying for this connection to come back together and they want you to have faith and hope in them. And we've got champagne celebration. So they want to celebrate with you. They want to take you out as a separate date and maybe share a glass of champagne or a glass of wine with you and really talk about things because they feel this passion for you, this intense passion. They feel this connection. Even if they've not admitted it to you, they're feeling this connection. So my next new deck is Starcross Lovers, Agony and Ecstasy. This is part one and two combined. So let's get some other messages for you. So we've got you're on my mind day and night, obsession. So they feel a bit obsessed with you because they can't get you off their mind, basically. And when they met you, they felt that they'd known you before. This could be a past life relationship. Or maybe you even knew each other as, as children, maybe, many, many years ago. Be different for everybody. But they want you to know that you do have their heart, okay? And again, they may not have told you this, but they, you have their heart. They want you to know you have their heart, it's you. And at the moment, they're the lone wolf, they're going it alone, they're not seeing other people, they're on their own, and this could be you as well. They want you to know that they're not seeing anyone else, okay? We've got Heartbreak Hotel, a breakup, a hookup, saying goodbye. So I feel maybe it started off possibly as a casual hookup, and you saw each other more, but you did break up. There was a break up here because this is for people in separation, no contact. Okay, so there's been heartbreak here in this connection. Yeah, someone walks away. So there's confirmation there that one of you walked away in this connection. And again, we've got the childhood thing. So this reminds me of the Six of Cups energy. So you could have known each other in many lifetimes you know, this deep soul connection that you share here. And he wants you to know that he wants you to be his. He wants you to be his for all time. And it looks like someone's proposing there, doesn't it? Beautiful energies. So they want to be in this energy with you, in this content energy, like snuggling up together, being comfortable together, just being in each other's company. They want to make amends, I feel, for the for the past. And they want you to know that they've been waiting for someone like you for so long. Okay? And they've come to that realisation now. So what emotions are they in? We've got magic. They're starting to believe in the magic. Okay? The magic of this connection. And one or both of you is wearing a mask in this connection. You weren't being your authentic selves. You weren't showing each other how what you really meant to each other at the time. And we've got under the light of the moon... Under the light of the silvery moon, I feel I was bloom. As I said, the moon energy has really helped this person to get in touch with their feelings, okay? So what else do they like about you? So they want to please you sensually. They want to really enjoy everything about you. And vice versa. They want to be sexy, have those sexy times with you. You know, be impulsive and, and just be able to make love and, and be with you in that way. And they're longing and yearning for you right now, okay? And it's probably vice versa. And they want those sensual delights. They want to try new things, be experimental in the bedroom with you. Yeah, they they love your lips. They want to kiss you, suck on your lips. They really miss your lips. You're kissing your lips. Yeah, kissing. They miss your kisses. Your kisses tasted like wine. And they, they were swept away with passion and desire for you. They really were. And again, they may not have told you this. You may have seen that in their way they were with you, but they never actually admitted it. 
And when they pleasure themselves and when you pleasure yourself, you're thinking of each other, I feel. They want to have a home with you. They want to have a, a little love nest with you here. And they want to send you naughty text, exchange naughty sexy chat with you online. Because they weren't sure. It says not sure what they wanted. They weren't sure. Okay, that's why someone walked away. And they needed that time alone to figure out what they wanted. And again, we've got weekend away. They want to take you away for fun and sex, okay? <laughs> and they want to marry you. They want to make that commitment to you here. Beautiful. So what do they want to say? You are a goddess to me, not just in your physical form, but your inner as well. Your kindness, compassion and empathy, the way you care about others is such an example in this world. I know we have known each other before and shared many lifetimes. Have you felt this? If things do not work out, I know we'll meet each other again, but I want it to be now, as that is where my focus is. I did not expect the sex to feel so good I'd become jaded just going through the motions, but it was so much more with you. And I've done so many things in the past that I'm ashamed of, and I feel if you knew these things, it would change the way you see me for good. So they still have a question mark over whether you will truly accept them. But unconditional love, we do accept people how they are, warts and all, don't we? Anyway, so that's your messages, part two. Thank you for watching. Hello, part three, you chose the pyramid. So we're going to look at your person's hidden deep desires. So how does he see you? So he sees you as someone very charming, you're very good with people, you get on with everyone, you know, most people, you you charm people. You could be very creative, you could paint, draw, write, cook, sew, whatever it is, but they admire that about you. You could be spiritual, you meditate or do yoga, you're very intuitive, you may have picked up things about them, which just surprised them. You're talented in some way, again, you're creative, you could be musical, you could be an artist. And you're also practical, you're very good at making things or fixing things. In fact, you can turn your hand to anything they feel. So this is my Love Lenormand deck. So what energy? <laughs> We've got Venus, love, sensuality, passion. So they're feeling the love here. The house, the home, family, security. So they're wanting a home with you at some point. Roads, travel, no location. They could be travelling right now. They could be moving to do with work. You know, they're on the move right now, I feel. And we've got commitment. I declare my love for you. So they're wanting that commitment here with you. <clears throat> Garden, socialising, parties, meetings. So your person could be going to these sort of things for, through work, I feel. But he's really missing your company. The Emperor, Twin Flame, Soul, Masculine Energy. So he's in this energy, I feel. He's your Divine Masculine. He's in that energy. He wants to be the man that you look up to, that you desire. And we've got Clover, Luck, Success. So there's going to be a change of luck here, I feel, in this connection. And we've got Letter, a text, an email, correspondence. So you could be getting some communication from this person, okay? So this is my other new deck, Star Cross Lovers, Agony and Ecstasy, Parts 1 and 2, which I've combined. So what other energies? Kiss and make up. So they want to make up with you. They want to, um, and I forgot to say, this is for people in separation, no contact. They want to really make up with you, make out with you <laughs> as well. They feel that joy and bliss with you. They want to have that back again. And they feel your energy all the time, and you probably feel their energy as well. Um, they can feel it all over them basically and they hunger for you, they're on fire they, they feel that passionate desire for you they're really missing you and they could have been wearing a mask before Okay, they were not showing you their authentic self because maybe they thought you wouldn't like the real them Okay, but I feel with this image they've taken that mask off they've taken that, they will take that mask off and be their authentic self and their heart was caged in, they, they felt they didn't deserve love. And this could be you as well, feminines. Your heart needed to be opened to love again. You'd closed off your heart, you'd caged off your heart here. And they want to take this leap of faith with you. They want to take this leap into the future with you. Because they feel you were a lost love, they, they didn't realise until you're gone 
the feelings that they did have for you, okay? And they want you to know they see signs everywhere. So spirit are reminding them of you all the time. They cannot forget you, basically. And they want you to know you are the one. You're the one that they've been looking for. They realise that now. Beautiful energies here. So let's get the uh, emotions they're in right now. So we've got solitude. So they're spending that time alone, really going within, really connecting with what it is they want. There's still this fear here, this fear of rejection, I feel. You know, whatever went down between you, they, they fear you may not let them come back. And we've got sensuality. They're missing that sensual times they had with you. And they're feeling quite emotional. They're in touch with their emotions right now. Okay, they're really feeling their emotions. So, what other energies do they have for you? Yeah, so they have this desire. They want to express themselves in that way. Their feelings. They want to be op open with you about what they're wanting. They have strong lustful feelings for you. Strong sexual desire for you. But they do have feelings for you as well. And they felt that immediate spark with you, that immediate attraction and connection, but they may not have told you. And they want to be adventurous in sex life with you in the future and really have that adventurous sex life with you. And they like the way that you dress up for them sometimes or they fantasise about you dressing up in sexy lingerie for them. So this is my other new deck, Sensual Desires. So yeah, they want to thrill seek with you. They want to try things in new places, do new things. Yeah, they feel intense. The way you looked at them, you know, it really lit them up. And they're longing and wanting for you. They want you to be with them again. And they find you very tempting. You're a tease. You entice them. Those images of you in their mind. <laughs> So what else have we got here? Yeah, they want to date you seriously. They really want to take their time and really date you properly here. You know, days into weeks, weeks into months, etc. Yeah, they're, they're manifesting you back in their life here. And they, they want to take you away on a holiday. This could be a honeymoon for some here. It says honeymoon. But they want to go away with you somewhere. You know, have that romantic time together. And the answer is yes, they do have deep feelings for you. And they feel this soulmate love with you now. So what do they want to say? I do have deep feelings for you and I'm trying to clarify how to express this to you. So yeah, they're, they're fearful of coming forward. I realise now I've hurt you and I'm so sorry I've hurt myself. My soul recognised you straight away but I didn't, didn't know this until now. So they were not being very self-aware. I'm entranced by your beauty, not just external but your inner beauty. I did not know if you were genuine and I thought at first it was an act. This kindness, this warmth you have to you, you glow from within. I want to make love to you every day and show you how much I love you. So they really want to show you in their physical way. I'm facing my fears, <coughs> my dark side. I realise you and I are mirrors for good and bad and I'm working on myself. Please be patient with me. So yes, they're working on themselves right now. You know, they've got this fear holding them back. Okay, but there your messages, part three. I hope you enjoyed that. Sending you lots of love and blessings. Bye for now.